Welcome back, everyone. The solar industry in Arkansas has boomed since 2019 when the Arkansas legislature passed a bill that helped cities, counties, and school districts and others to invest in their own solar power systems. But now, two Arkansas lawmakers have proposed a bill that the solar industry said would undo much of that law and make investing into solar expensive for most people. Arkansas Business following that story, of course, editor Lance Turner joining us. So how is this bill going to affect the solar industry across Arkansas? Well, House Bill 1370 was filed this month by a pair of legislators, two Republicans, Representative Lanny Fight of Benton and Senator Jonathan Dismang of Searcy. The big thing the bill would do is eliminate one-to-one -one net metering compensation that solar power users currently receive. It works like this. If you, as a homeowner, a farm, a business, whatever, have a solar array, you generate your own electric power. And power that you do not use gets put back onto the electric grid, and the grid operates then pays you for that excess power. The rate at which you are compensated is equal to what utilities charge for that power, one-to-one. -one. Well, this rep proposal would eliminate one-to-one -one net metering and instead institute what's called two-way billing, essentially providing solar power users with a lower compensation level than for the power that they are adding to the grid. So after almost, what, four years of this law, why all of a sudden this change? Well, utilities have long argued that one-to-one -one net metering uh, is unfair to the people who don't use solar power. They say that as utilities, they have to make enough money to maintain an expensive electric grid, all the stuff you have to put into to make the grid work. And that one-to-one -one net metering uh, shifts those costs away from solar power users and onto everybody else. But Arkansas solar industry argues that this would make the installation and upkeep of solar uh, systems more expensive and less attractive frankly, to solar power users, and that would stop the industry's phenomenal growth, costing jobs, uh, and possibly raising the cost of electricity in the long run. They also say it would give an unfair advantage to the established utilities, uh, which are already building their own solar arrays. So this week, a coalition of businesses and schools and local governments came out, of course, against this bill. In fact, there was a rally on the uh, state capitol steps today. So who is who is the opposition to this? And, and what's well, the next step in this debate? Yeah, so the Arkansas Advanced Energy Association assembled this group and le is leading the effort against the bill. It distributed a response that names like 90 cities, counties, schools, farmers, uh, water associations, businesses uh, that all denounce the plans. These are names that you're going to recognize. People like the Arkansas Farm Bureau Association, the the Arkansas Rice Federation, Arkansas State University System, Baptist Health, Riceland Foods, Lexicon, Bank OZK, all these entities that have already made use and built their own solar arrays and have a lot invested in them. Uh, they indeed held a news conference today. The bill is run tomorrow in the House Insurance and Commerce Committee at 10 a.m. And we will be there to see what happens in that debate. Wow. Doesn't sound like this thing is going to be over anytime soon. All right, Lance, thank you so much for joining us. And of course, you can read all about this on ArkansasBusiness.com.